Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel, another 7 days to that video. I'm doing all this on Alpha 16.4 on PC, but this should work out on consoles as well. If you're like me, sometimes you like your dwellings, your houses, your bases, whatever, to be able to have a little bit of a skylight in them, to let some light in so you can kind of see, or maybe you want to do like I've showed in a previous video, make an underground farm. And so you want to put glass over the top of it so it lets in as much light as possible while still providing some protection. But the problem is glass is known to leak from the rain. And while sitting on the porch listening to the relaxing rain beat down might be kind of enjoyable, you don't always want to be completely soaking wet. So, in the words of Eric Draven, It can't rain all the time. But when it does, you want to be able to have a nice roof that you're not going to get completely soaked with because being wet makes you cold. Of course, if you get cold enough, you start getting sick and being soaking wet all the time is just not cool. So, here's the setup we did. We have bulletproof glass over here, business pane glass, standard window panes, because it's basically the main three kinds of glass here that I'm going to test out. And then the other kind of test I was asked was whether or not if you have just a simple hatch into the roof system, say like you have a ladder going up to climb up and down, if water will pass through this. And of course, if it's open, if water will go through. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the rain, which doesn't take very long, and to see if you can stay dry underneath the glass because graphically it's coming through here you can see that the rain is still coming through it looks like i'm coming it looks like i should be getting completely soaking wet so what i'm gonna do is i'm just kind of gonna test to see if you can actually have a glass ceiling and not get wet or not so visually the rain is coming through the bulletproof glass but as you can see i'm slowly getting drier so bulletproof glass works just fine in order to be able to keep you dry so let's test out the business paint here let's okay we'll go under here kind of chill out and see if our wetness goes up or down or not it looks like it's going down too so even though graphically it's coming right on through the glass and looks like I should be completely soaking wet the glass is keeping me from getting wet so that is really good okay let's try out the standard window these are the regular old windows here okay so that little splash of rain I got was just between the two different uh, the split where the rain is here but so standing under glass panes it's not bothering me at all, so that's good. So it looks like three different kinds of glass you can get in the game. The bulletproof glass, standard business glass panes, and window panes, which you can just um, rotate to make them horizontal like this, will keep you from getting wet while still allowing the light to go through. Now these are just standard wood blocks here. So I'm standing underneath them, and you can see I'm getting completely soaked. So glass will show that the rain's coming through, but you won't get wet, and under a solid wooden roof here the water's coming through and getting me wet but you can't even see it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to remove this hatch real quick and put just a standard wooden block in it and see if that changes it up all right so i've got completely soaking wet here so i set up a little campfire to help kind of dry me out and warm me up you see it's still going down because i'm standing underneath the window panes and it's still pouring down rain outside so what i did over here was i removed the hatch i didn't do anything else besides remove the hatch from this wooden ceiling here as you can see, my wetness is still going down. So, having the hatch in the center of this ceiling here seemed to make the entire ceiling leak, which is kind of interesting. I didn't really think it would work out that way. But as you can see, I'm underneath it walking around here and I'm not getting any wetter. But when the hatch was in here, it made the whole thing leak all over for some reason. So I'm going to put this back in here again and just to verify. Okay, that's kind of interesting here. After I removed the hatch and put just a wooden block on here, I was no longer getting wet just standing underneath it. And so I replaced the hatch again and put it back in here, and now I'm no longer getting wet. See, if I'm standing directly underneath it, I'm still not getting wet. So that's kind of interesting. Let's see, if I open it up, of course, I'm going to start getting wet because the rain comes through. And if I close it again, if I move around here a little bit, it seems to be okay. So for whatever reason that was going on the first time, it seems like right underneath the hatch, if it's been open and closed, it seems to leak a little bit more. But under the rest of the ceiling, it seems to be okay. So if you have a hatch on there, it looks like for the most part, just don't stand right underneath it, or you're going to continue to get wet even if it's closed. But it looks like for the first part, when I first put it up there, it was completely fine. Once I opened it, then all the rain started coming in, and then it started to leak a little bit. So for the people that are out there that are wanting how to make a waterproof roof, Pretty much you can use any kind of glass you want to and it works just fine. Um, I like the bulletproof glass look. It gives it a little tiled bathroom look almost. It looks kind of cool. And all of these will keep you completely dry and it'll let your crops grow and keep the light in and all that other stuff so you don't have to worry about trying to do artificial light. If you have a hatch in here, just don't stand underneath it. You're going to get soaked even if it's closed. 
So anyway, this was just a short little test, but it's one that I have been asked a few times before, so I thought I would try and tackle it a little, little bit, and uh, hopefully this was at least useful to you guys. If you have any questions or you know think of something I should have done differently now I know there's tons of different blocks out there and different roof types and all that other stuff that I didn't test uh, most of the normal regular blocks are waterproof this was mostly about using glass or being able to have a hatch there something that can allow an opening into it like light here so I'm not gonna test every single block of the game because most of them are waterproof this was just to test out the glass but if you do have any questions or concerns or things that did do something differently drop in the comment section and I'll see if I can help you out a little bit and of course leave other suggestions for other tests in there because I always add those to my list and that'll be it drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it because you know I appreciate that and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos and hit that little bell icon next to it so you don't miss out on notifications you guys are awesome thank you so much for your time you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later